Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my order from the one with the diamond art. If you haven't seen my other unboxing, I'll put a link down below so you can find that. The other kit was a Josephine Wall kit called the Dragon Charmer and it is so cute. But today I have another, my second kit that I ordered at the same time from the one with the diamond art. This is called Vengeance and the artist is Hannah at Iteration Crafts. And when I saw this image, I'll show it here, I just fell in love because I love dragons and fantasy and all the magic and things. It's just great. So that's what we have to hear today. We have Vengeance. So it is going, I ordered, 60 by 80 centimeters in round, including ABs. And so let's get into it. What, what the one with the diamond art does is they send everything rolled together in the same box. So I separated the two out. So if you're interested in seeing the outer box and things, I can actually, actually maybe I'll put a snip of that here so you can check it out. Here, take it. So this is the outer package and I'm just gonna slice it off. It's kinda, kinda gummy, but it's protecting the inside, right? And this was dropped on my doorstep yesterday in the rain. Such is life, right? And it looks like it's been crushed. But diamond paintings are fairly robust, right? They're not gonna break. Just doesn't have a pretty collector box. There should be two kits in here. And I'm just not sure if they're all wrapped up together. Oh dear. Okay. <coughs> and that's it for that box. That'll go in the recycle bin. So let's see what we've got going on here. So I, again, I have two kits in here. So I think I am going to show you one at a time. So I'll just pause that while I set that up. So here we are, I hope you enjoyed that snip. And this is the second kit that I showed you in the other unboxing. So let's have a look. Let's do it the good way. Let's take out the drills. And have a look at those and let's take a look at the toolkit I'm really excited because I haven't actually looked I made myself wait because I wanted to just see the whole thing because I was like you know just as excited about this kit as the Josephine wall kit that I got so let's take a quick look at this pretty toolkit in the organza bag we have a pen we have a mini mosca tray. I think they call them mosca trays. I'm not sure why. Probably somebody that's been around in the community longer knows. We have a really good set of tweezers. Really pointy. Let's see, what else do we have in here? We have quite a bit of wax. We have some washi tape for marking off glue or whatever you need to do. And a squishy for the pen. There's our waxes. Squishy. The washi tape. Oh, three multi placers. A two. What does this one say? I think it's a five. And it looks like a seven. I'm going to guess it's a seven. Maybe it's an eight. Yeah. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read if there's writing, but that's, that's a good selection. Plus, you have the single placer on your pen. So that's a good looking kit. Good place to start. So in here are our drills. They look interesting. I like that they're all kitted up in baggies, so if you don't have storage or you don't want to go to the work of putting in storage, you can just work straight out of these. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And see that, there's the picture, there's the first tease. So this is poured glue, and the back is nice and soft. And I can already see the edges are scalloped, which is good. So what I'll do is I'm going to roll it backwards and we'll do a reveal. 
all at once so we can get a good look. And hopefully this works out. Sometimes I do this and I don't get the whole thing in the camera or whatever, you know. It is what it is. Oh, there's the dragon. I'm going to zoom out now. Super cool. I just love this image. That's as far out as my camera goes. I wonder why it's not fitting in. How big is this thing? Oh yeah, it's 60 by 80. I already said that. You know, what do you want, right? <laughs> so it's looking good. The first thing I'm going to say is that this feels like a good cover paper. Plastic sheet. The legend is printed on both sides, top and bottom. I like that they have their socials on the bottom and the size and the name all down here and the artist's name. So this is a licensed art kit, which is really important. This is also round dry diamonds, <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> They're round dragons, <laughs> just kidding. Round diamonds, okay. And here's more socials down at the bottom. And what, there's the legend and a picture of the schematic, which looks good, the image. The color list, we have, we have 50 colors. Ooh, that's a nice size. I like that. And this is like the size that I'm finding I like to work on the best. It's, it's similar to the Diamond Art Club 56 by 76. It's just a teeny, teeny bit bigger at 60 by 80, but it works for me. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the drill field. Let's see, it looks really good. I'm not seeing any issues, not so far. I see some symbol on here that's like a percentage sign. Let's see if we can see that one clearly. Cause that's sometimes where you'll see troubles. Oh, it looks pretty good. It's right here and I can see that right under my finger. Probably you can see it bigger if you're watching your TV than I can see it. But yeah, it's super clear. Let's take a look over here in the darker area again. And it looks really clear. I'm not seeing any issues that jump out at me right now. So let's check the glue. Glue is important. I love glue. Let's check it. Sounds good. And it's just over the edges, so it'll need a little bit of washi tape, but that's just normal. I see the same thing on Diamond Art Club kits. And the Diamond Painting Deutschland kits have the same thing. What I like to do, though, is I like to check more than one section for glue. Let's check this other side, too, just to make sure. And then we'll take a look at the drill field as well. Oh, it sounds good. Ooh. Exciting. So what do we see here? I see clearness. I know it's upside down, but it won't matter because you can still tell that it's clear. And I just, I don't see anything, any issues. It's nice and even. Looks well printed. So that's great because with round drills, you can see the background coming through in between. So the other kit I got was a square kit, but it was a Josephine wall and it was printed in black and white. So I thought the perfect time to order a round kit for comparison, right? Because this would be their normal kits and their normal printing. So it looks really good. So let's take a look at the drills. I have no idea how many ABs are in here. It's a fair size pack, and I'm liking the look of this. Look at these. Great big pack of purple ABs. My, one of my favorites is purple. So this is their inventory sheet. So 
So I'll I either run this through a Xyron sticker maker or I'll just make these symbols myself. Now I'll show you an example of me doing that. How I did that. Just if it helps you. It's this, this is easy to make your own. I just took dollar store stickers and I just write the label with the DMC or the symbol with the DMC number under it and then I put it in order. So this is a different kit, but yeah. Cool, huh? Just in case you've never seen that before. That's one way to do it. The other way is to just, is to cut this out and then run it through a sticker maker. I actually ran out of sticker in my sticker maker, so if I decide to get this one up, which I might well do, then I will just make my own because <laughs> I have to go and order a refill. And things are like really expensive on Amazon and they seem to take forever right now here in Canada. I'm not sure why. Anyway, I don't mind making my own little labels. It's not a big deal. As long as the codes aren't too crazy and these look pretty normal. I could like reproduce those in my handwriting pretty easy. So we have 50 colors and it says at the bottom 70,000 drills have been supplied. And the quantity is here. And it looks like this might be an old inventory sheet because this pieces per bag would be for the standard size bags, but these are hand packed bags. So there's just gonna be one bag of each color in here. So I'll, when I'm done, I'll go through and check the inventory to make sure I'm not missing any colors. I'm sure I'm not, I, I wasn't missing anything on the other kit. So let's take a look at the colors in here. Ooh, 208. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Yeah, so I can sit down because I was standing up to do this. So isn't that pretty? I'm actually gonna pull out a tray, just whatever I have sitting here. I know, just put some of these in here and take a look because these are just so pretty. Ooh, I like the look of those. Yep, yeah. those are some pretty rounds. Look at that. I hope you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, 208 and lots of coating too, actually. Look at the tops. There's lots of coating on those ABs, so that's a good thing. That's gonna make them just pop out that much more. And I'm not seeing a lot of static in here, which is like, <laughs> it's a total relief. The last kit I did, Life of Tigers, a whole thing was static. The last two kits I've kitted up have been staticky, so. We have a nice bag of 939. And I'm gonna guess the 939 is the dark color. Yeah, it's all this in the in the dragon wings going down into the face, all in here. That's pretty cool. And this is another AB 775R. I'm gonna just guess that this is gonna be in somewhere in the wings, just because that's what I think. It's symbol T. Ooh, well, there's some quite a bit of confetti in this kit, actually. I'm gonna say there's not a lot of multi-placing. There's some, like, I'm gonna say there's some multi-placing in here in these darks, but really, it's actually pretty heavy confetti when I look at this. This can be a lot of fun, because I love confetti. There's some teas, one, two, three, four. They're just sprinkled in. So these are sprinkled in throughout the wings, so that's awesome. What we got here at 803, a blue. So this, what I liked about this art is it's like got all the colors in it. It's a real mix. Some salmon, sort of a blue, a nice pretty pink. 815, a nice red, another nice blue. I don't know. It looks like I mixed up all the bags, so I'll have to resort them later. Some 437, 451. Nice bag of tan. That's quite a few actually. But yeah, even the bags have like, look, they say the kit number and the size. So that's good in case you are working on more than one kit. 
you could actually take that number and it's 2256-1. It's actually written on there, if you can see it. And here's 498, let's see. I think there's one more AB, we just need to find it. So 928, 3756, 3687, 958, ooh, that is a pretty one. 602 AB, look at that, how pretty that is. I wonder where that goes, there's only a few. I bet you that's in the eye. It's not. No. 602, when I look at the legend here. Oh, it's it's at the bottom because this an AB. Their ABs are listed at the bottom. It's like an F. I I don't know. It's probably in the wings here somewhere. It's gotta be. This makes sense based on the coating coloring here, but it's got to be in here. So that's going to be super fun to find that one. And I keep thinking about where I might see it. <laughs> that bugs me when I can't find something, which just, you know, I digress into trying to find things on a heavy confetti kit that I just might not be able to quickly see. If it pops up, I'll let you know. So 3855, 3831, a really nice bag of 3834 purples. I love this color. It's just so relaxing, but so pretty. 3804, 3779, 3778, uh, 964, 783, 960. 3869, that's a pretty pink. I like that, that's pretty. Some nice dark red, 902. There's some great colors in here. 792 blue, 3747, 826, 3768, 3770, 407, Man, I've gotten these things all out of order, haven't I? I think I did it. <laughs> 840, 301, 160. It actually doesn't really matter if I don't have stickers, if they're not in order, because I'm going to make my own stickers anyways. So I wasn't going to kit it up in number order or in DMC number order. So it'll just make it more fun to check the inventory. 632. 791. Ooh, that's a big bag of 159. But no, no giant massive bags of any particular color, really. 647, 823. And you know, I expected to see some 310s, and I'm not seeing 310s. 3774. That's a one handwritten bag. I wonder why that happened. 3774. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, 3765, 3765. Oh, and there's another AB. So there's four ABs in here. This is just so pretty. What is that? It's a dash sign. Oh, it's all in here. I see little dashes. So it's sprinkled in the wings up here. That's gonna be cool. There's some down here. Yeah, pretty. So the last of the colors is 315, 316, 317, and three, five, six. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna check them off on the inventory sheet, make sure I have everything. And I think I do. I'm just gonna use this highlighter so I can read through it. So 356 is there. Let's put a dot on it. 317, there. 316. 3765, 3744, no, 3774, 647, 791. I don't think I've ever had an actual 791, even though I said that out loud. I've never had a 791. It's like a dark blue. Hmm. 
Interesting. A 632. There. 301. 407. 3768. 3770. 160. 826. 3747. 3689. 3778. And 3779, 3804, 964 159 840 498 760 3834 928, 452, 451, 437, 818, 3855, 602R, 1AB, 208R, next AB, 775, next AB, and 3078AB, there, and then 931, 931, and 939, 315, and 803. Now I'm looking at this, and I don't see any missing. That's great news. Awesome. So now that that's checked, I'll pull this all over. So yeah, I'm really liking the look of this kit, guys. Their customer service has been very responsive. So I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the one with the diamond art. Again, this is called Vengeance by Hannah at Iteration Crafts. And I just love Hannah's artwork. Follow her on Instagram. I'll put a link in the, in the, uh, in the unboxing below for her Instagram channel. I'm pretty sure I already follow her on Instagram regularly. And I um, look forward to seeing more art come from her on the different diamond painting shops. And I can't wait to get started on this one. So please like and subscribe on your way out. It doesn't cost anything. And it really helps my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.